All right, here we go again, hopefully the last time. So we're gonna start by running some water into my cup. I don't like to use the little espresso demi-tasse cups. I actually use a cup that's a little kid's cup. It's apples, blackberries, and cabbages with a cute little rabbit on it. Okay, once that is going, the next thing is I'm going to measure some blue bottle coffee. Um, this is Hayes Valley Espresso. It's a little bit old. It was roasted December 22nd. I'm going to measure it with this Akaya scale right here. Yep, Akaya or Akia or some name. Nicholas 3D printed me a <clears throat> little stand so I don't break my bottles. These bottles, I generally use pre-dosed coffee. Uh, this morning I thought I would measure just to show you that I can measure. Um, this is the Lynn Weber bean cellar. All right, so I set it up. This is one of the really cool things that came with the bean cellar is this awesome uh, CNC funnel uh, aluminum. All right, so I set it up and I tear it. So now we're at zero grams. All right, so I'm going to start pouring in coffee. And I'm out of coffee in this bag. Okay, so I'll just add some of this. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty point one. Alright, I'm actually going to get rid of one bean. Let's see if we're back to 20 grams. One gram short, tenth of a gram. All right, that's just going to have to be close enough. All right, <clears throat> so the next thing I do is I pour the coffee into this Lynn Weber grinder, which was very expensive, and I'm starting to like. All right, so uh, this is the dose or a bottomless shaker thing that they make see the bottom comes out with this little plug and this side aligns registers perfectly to the porta filter so it's a good thing to grind into so we'll put that up in there my last shot was a little bit light so I'm gonna make the grind just a little bit less fine okay Jordan showed me an article on the internet about how a couple drops of water will prevent static electricity that was a life-changing thing for me it's been totally awesome okay now I'm gonna grind the espresso grind 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 <coughs> okay that's good I should have teared this thing before, but I know it's 184.7. There we go. We got 20 grams. That's good. <coughs> All right. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to prime this pump a little bit. I'm going to take my espresso, shake it. All right. I'm going to pull the plug. Okay. That's good. Now you see how it's a little bit up in there. A couple shots. Tap it on the side. Things are good. Now, I like to rock it around in there just to even it out. And then one press. This is the Espro tamper. It's got a measurement thing in it that's supposed to give you the right tamp. All right. So, pour the filter in. I like to use the Akaya <coughs> auto start and auto tear settings, so let's get on there. Okay, tear the scale, time, here we go, one, two, three, go. All right, should start getting some drops, there's some drops. Okay, looks good. Starts to come together. 
Hopefully we get a nice stream. It's looking good. The flow rate seems to be good. I like to do 30 seconds and 30 grams. Seven, eight, shut it off. 30 seconds, 30 grams on the money. All right, I got a pretty looking espresso. And then the last thing is to knock out the puck and see how it looks. See how it all kind of falls apart. That's the ideal scenario for me. Okay, that's it, that's my routine.